what is up guys it's so bash welcome back we're gonna play some more mobile legends today and we got lucky in roulette and got gore and let's take a look at him ground smash sends all enemies in a frontal cone area flying up into the air for one second and deals damage momentum normal attacks landed increase physical attack normal attacks received increase physical defense this lasts for six seconds and can be stacked four times that is a passive that's interesting blood fury enemy legend kill increases your max hp and enemy minion kills restores hp that's pretty nice it's a passive as well and the ultimate leap of faith jumps high into the air and crashes down deals damage and stuns all nearby enemy legends upon impact and check it out we got the other skin as well from the roulette i got super lucky on this all right here we go so i'm gonna go ahead and pick up ground smash and we're using teleport now momentum and blood fury they are both passive abilities so those are things that you're not really gonna have to worry about managing you've only got one skill kind of like pyrex uh, this guy's a little tanky as well depending on the build that you go with now if you go with the recommended build they're stacking up pretty hard on this I'm gonna go in and steal it and we're gonna try to get dread stopped here we're gonna pick him up stun him got him nice all right is ember gonna stay ember is using the new skin gonna get a stun on her and nice we got two kills right out of the gate double kill now let's take a look at this build you're gonna get movement speed first phoenix blades infinity lance demon shield glacier armor and magnificent bow now that is a lot of defensive stuff and meteorite hammer there at the end uh myself I'm going to go a little bit with what's working with him and kind of on the end give him a little bit of life still for that sustainability since he does have so many hit points. It's going to be a little bit easier for uh, you to sustain and kind of stay out and fight longer instead of having to go back every time you get low on hit points. Now you could also substitute that with like life do or something like that. But I'm going to try to use the majority of the recommended build as I always do but pretty sure probably last ability we'll go with something that gives me some life still so we're gonna back away from him and let's go ahead and go down bottom I notice nobody's been down here so we're gonna go down here and farm I got him on me but he's still level one so I'm not too too worried about him yeah we could take him out he'll probably run before he gets too low he got me pretty low as well I'm just gonna run back over here and grab this heal all right we'll stay bottom lane we got two bottom now that stun can be used as an out as well. Also have my teleport, so we're safe there. All right, back in the middle of it. Tobias down bottom, but he got caught up in the tower. That stun helped out a good bit. Now we do have our ultimate. Now the ultimate, this is what's gonna be a game changer for ranked, I believe, because you're gonna be able to come in and do that now that does hit everybody so we're gonna get another stun on him right here this this guy is crazy with the two stuns it's absolutely insane at how much damage you're able to do because you're basically keeping them stun locked and you've got so many hit points and defensive abilities and let's go ahead and level this up stun him that way we can get out and we're gonna get away from him come down bottom see this is why I would recommend going with uh, life steal because killing stuff like this you would have been sustaining yourself and let's check and see if it's back up it is now we're gonna go ahead and grab definity in definity Lance infinity Lance welcome back yeah uh, we did quite a bit of the crazy stuff this weekend I went to a carnival kind of haunted house and uh, we played a killer clown and scared the shit out of people. It was a great time. Oh, we missed him right there. Or did we know he got stunned? All right, we're going to stun him again. Oh, don't get away. No, he stuns me. Got him. That was close. That was very, very close. <laughs> Tobias is one we did get as well over the Halloween holiday so we will be trying that one out as soon as well and i do believe on this next uh item i'm gonna go ahead and get life still i'm not sure what the next one would have been uh let's take a look it would have been demon shield 
So it would have been some more tanking ability. We're not going to try him just yet. I'm going to stay over here. I'm trying to wait until that thing comes back up. Right up here at the hill. That way we're able to jump in and uh, help our guys out. Well, that really didn't make much of a difference because I've got so much life. That's why I'm saying life do is probably a good one for this guy. Good, we got a buff. So let's go down here, get some more of these minions taken out. And let's go ahead and go to physical attack. And let's go ahead and pick up a chaos claw to help sustain this. Going to stun him here. And we got him. That ability is so cool. Now, I probably could have just ran him down with that speed buff, but I'm trying to keep these abilities going back and forth just to see how they act. And it's about a 40-something second cooldown, so it's not too terribly bad. We missed with that right there. And Ember's new skin is pretty cool. It's a lot different. Wow, I just got bursted down by them. So if you don't go with any magic defense, Ember Burst still does hurt Gore pretty bad. And let's get her in a stun. You can do a good bit of damage to her too, so if you focus on a lower level character like that, or less defensive character, Gore can take them down pretty quick. And we got three seconds on mid buff again. Tobias is coming in screwing with me, but I'm gonna grab this buff first. And then we'll box. Go ahead and pick up his defense as well. And did we get him? Yeah. We got the stun on him. Those double stuns are killer. He's able to sustain. That's one of Tobias's abilities. Oh, we did get him though with that teleport. I like using that to go in sometimes. Not only using it as an out. So let's try to sneak up here and grab this mini boss while they're not paying attention. Got him. We'll go to tier two on the ultimate. And let's stage up, see if anybody comes in. Two of them are coming in. Dreads pushing on the tower. So uh, we got one second left on this ultimate. So we're going to hop in on a stun. Stun them both again. Not really doing much damage. We're going to have to get out. See if we can't get Ember here. No, 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 no. Stun. All right, get away, get away, get away. All right, Glacier Armor. We definitely needed that armor. So that should help out a good bit. Next, we'll level up uh, the life still some more. So we're doing uh, about 32. Look at all the life you're getting back from killing all that stuff. That is crazy. From all of those abilities, main one being this one right here, Blood Fury. Each time an enemy legend's killed, it increases your HP. Each time a minion's killed, it gives you HP. So my HP, you're going to see go up right there. And we're not going to force that right there. Momentum, we're going to we're gonna go ahead and max that out. I'm not too, too worried about maxing this stun out yet because that's pretty much what I like using it for. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but the stun utility of it is nice. Like right here, he come in, stun me. And then he's going to try to run, which he successfully did. So let's uh, go ahead and take both of these guys out. Dread, unless he's got his ultimate, he is dead. He did have his ultimate, so I'm going to hang back. Uh-oh, Tobias and Dread. This is not fun. We're not going to push on that too, too hard. Okay, we got a little bit of backup. I keep getting stunned. All right, looks like Dread's going down. See the sustainability with him? Now I'm gonna have to get out. She's gonna force me to leave with that magic damage she's putting out. I'm not capable of handling magic damage because I'm not built to basically take it. So magic damage is still gonna do a lot of damage to me. All right, let's see. Ember took her out pretty quick. Dread's gonna try to take me down. We got an ultimate as well. So let's go ahead. Oh, he tried running from it. Are we gonna get him? We got another stun. That's the thing. That stun cooldown is so, so short on this ability right here. The ground smash, it's back within seven to 10 seconds, I believe. 
Let's try it out. Six seconds. Wow. That's tier three now. I'm not sure if it scales with the levels, which normally they do. Uh, but I would only see it going down by like half a second per level. And we do have somebody contesting this down here. Tobias did take it out. All right, so we're going to try to kill him. He's got that dash, which he can store up three different times. That's pretty cool. Can we get him on the run? Yes, that is awesome. You jump way over that wall. All right, he's got the ability to keep him from dying, but we had that earth uh, tornado thing on from... All right, he's going to come back. We had that tornado thing on from the uh, mini boss right there that we killed a bit second ago. Can we take Dread out too? Dread's going to run, teleport in on him. Save me stun? Nope. It's not going to do it. All right, we're going to get some of that life back right there. And we're level 12, so let's check out the mini boss. Not mini boss, the big boss. Fire giant. All right, the stun does work on him. Ultimate as well. That's pretty nice. I'm able to get a little bit of life back right there. At least you are able to knock him up. So level 12 looks like you're able to sustain enough. See, you're not doing very much damage with him, but you're really good at sustaining it and staying in. Now you could build a little bit more life still as well as you want, uh, or you could build more damage. Uh, there's so many different ways you could build with this guy and I could see him being pretty good because the surprise ability of how far that ultimate reaches out. Now it is a good 40 second ish cooldown on the ultimate. But it's still not too terribly bad. Gonna finish him off. Now we have the fire buff. And let's go ahead and pick up this right here. Let's keep these guys from running from me. It's already 18 to 4. So we're gonna shut them down pretty quick if we keep on pushing too, too hard. And like always, I wanna try to max this guy's out level out. Dread's really, really pushing it. All right, we're just gonna get him to run back, hopefully. If the uh, dread there doesn't kill him, because I want to farm up. Let's check mini boss on this side, and looks like they changed the icon for the fire buff at the bottom. That's really interesting. And we're about halfway to level 15. Looks like it may run into about a 15-minute-long game. If you guys like these videos being this long, let me know in the comments below. Um, we can make them shorter. I can uh, chop edit them a lot more. Uh, but I'll leave a lot of the gameplay in. That way you, got, you guys can see what I'm doing. And let's go ahead and take out all these minions. Should help out a good bit leveling up. This tower should go down as well. And let's pick up some more defense. And we'll roll around here. Take out these guys, and oh, he'll die. He did. All right. Okay. So our team is starting to die again, but there only needs to be two more deaths for them, and it's game over. We're almost to 16 though. Uh, that buff right there will do it. So let's run over here, kill these. Notice the AI pushing really, really hard on top recently. So this is going to be interesting. If I'm look at the sustain you're able to take all three of those guys on me. All right, somebody's really about to die. Tobias got him, and Dread just barely teleported away from us. So we're max level 16. I've still got the old buff from the fire balls, and we got a speed buff here that'll help out a little bit with HP. Not really sure why we're killing minions now. Could be for just gear. So let's go ahead and uh, let him run back. And we'll start pushing this way. I actually want to kill Tobias. That uh, ability that saves him from dying. It pretty much makes his, his ultimate spawn uh, release. And he's going to get away from me. So let's go with some more hit points and defense. And attack buff. All right, here we go. This is it. I'm going to use his ultimate. Smash and bang. Game over. Guys, this is Gore. What do you think about this legend? Um, I think it's going to make a big change in 
rank because I mean we haven't had another tank style legend in a very very long time but let me know what you guys think in the comments below we went 12 and 1 MVP uh, really really interesting legend like I said guys thank you so much for watching as always like comment and subscribe I am Soulbash you guys have a nice day you're ready, you're ready.